Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device, also known as the FRP Lock for Factory Reset Protection. Now, here with us today, we happen to have an LG K51 that is originally from Xfinity Mobile here in the US. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here during the setup steps, we come to the screen that tells us that the device was factory reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the phone. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information after having done a factory reset or because they were sold the device used by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the device was locked. And then after the purchase, obviously the buyer discovered the lock and they weren't gonna have any of the previous user's login information. And in those cases, the seller has usually long since disappeared since it's a very common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get the lock removed from this exact model without having to have the previous user's login information. The removal procedure is something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows PC along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here with this one. So as you guys can very clearly see, the device was on the Google lock screen and then I just powered it off and then plugged it into our computer program here that goes ahead and takes care of that lock for us. So now that that's done, after the phone finishes rebooting here, we should be able to see that we can get all the way through the initial setup steps without running into that Google lock. Okay, so we are at the welcome screen here, so we're gonna begin going through everything step by step. It's just gonna tell us that we don't have a SIM card, which doesn't matter, so we're just gonna skip ahead. It's gonna ask us about an internet connection, and we're just actually gonna turn Wi-Fi off because we don't even need that. Now hitting next, it'll tell us that we don't have a connection, but that's fine, we can just skip it. And now it's gonna bring up a page about the Google services. So we have to read and accept there. And then it's gonna ask us about adding a security screen lock, which we don't need. So we're going to skip that step. And these are very good indications that we're seeing these screens because previously we would never have been able to access any of these options when the Google lock was in place. So that is a good sign that it is completely removed and we just need to finish up the last few things here. There's terms and conditions to read and agree to, so we gotta do that. And that should be it. Yep, we've got the home screen loading up here. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm gonna jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So when we go to system and then about phone, we can indeed see that we have an LG K51 here. And then that model number there, the LM K500 QM5, that is the specific uh, Xfinity version of the K51. And I know you can see the uh, Xfinity logo showing up there when the phone was turning back on. 
So, if you have one of these K51s originally from Xfinity and need help getting the Google Lock removed from it, we would love to assist you with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.